Reader Program version 4.6-15 allows you to print additional labels that you need to put on glasses. In the past, the only thing that you could do is you had these vacancy labels right here. These are the only thing that you could print out, and this is on Dymo 30333 labels, which you can get online at Amazon very inexpensively. One pair, one label goes on the temple of the pair of glasses, and the other label goes on the Ziploc bag right above the Ziploc. Now, with these changes, in addition to having vacancy labels like you see here, but you also have other types of labels. The second one on the label on the list is uh, labels that you can just put on glasses that you plan to build an inventory from scratch. The other one, the next one up, is update. This label has the UPD with a number above it. And these, this is for update inventory that you scan in for the purpose of putting it into the inventory. And the last one is the actual uh, labels that go over those labels right above that, the UBD labels, tell you the exact inventory number that the glasses will be placed into. And the number in parentheses below that tells you uh, what is the update number associated with that label. So you can see these labels are for glasses. Is going to go in pair number 30, 58, 68, 79, and, and so forth. And by only putting one label on, you're putting that over the label that's on the top of the Ziploc, you're saying that the other label, the bottom number that's in parentheses there, connects you to the pair of glasses, which has only an update number on it. Now I'm going to show you the program itself. So here is the program. Okay, if I go into the program and I click on File, Load Update in Ordinary Vacancy Labels, this window will come up. And here is the various options. First of all, it only prints on the dyno now. In the future, I'll try to make it print on a wide carriage printer. Print out the vacancy labels. Like you saw here, that's the vacancy labels. Okay, okay. now this says print all pairs. starting from the number that you have here at the bottom, okay, from 1 to 320. Or you could simply say print out only the ones that are identified as vacancy. And there's an option in Glasses Reader allow you to click to create a vacancy label file, a file named Vacancy. And this is what drives this little option. And then you can say print all pairs, and it will be driven from here below. But normally it's going to be drawn, done by the option in Glasses Reader that allows you to uh, print or create a vacancy list file. And you can do that from here, say file. Create vacancy list file for label generation. So I go back to where I was. So you have an option. You can print all pairs, or you could that, and they're driven by this number series from pair number one to pair number 32,678, and you print them out in increments of 20, or you could change that to be a smaller number of increments. Now, sometimes when you're printing these labels out, uh, uh, 
uh, the printer may jam or something like that. And so that's why it's nice to be able to start at, at another point. So you'd like to jam at pair number 53. Then you can maybe start again at 50, pair number 52. Or if 53 was okay, you could start again at maybe at 54. So this allows you to set those. Now, also, when you're printing out vacancy labels, maybe you want to skip certain numbers. So you could say, put in a number right here, and say, I'd like to skip a certain number of pairs of labels. Okay, the second option that you see here, okay, this, this is the one, this is where you just print out sequential labels right here. And that's this one right here. That's where you print out just sequential labels for new sets of glasses. And again, you control the starting point of that completely. Okay, now you can also print out update inventory labels right here. And this is what that label looks like. And here's a sample of one of those update numbers right here right here that's up that's an update number down there as you can see there's the number 30 58 so forth that's the physical number where it's going to go that's the update number in parentheses uh where uh, that is associated with this one label goes over the previous update number so let's go back to where it was And you can also scan, you can skip pairs that you want to. Now, when you're done uh, printing, you can click Cancel Label Printing Request and go on to the next option. The last one is this. This is what is put on update labels themselves, or update glasses. And this is for a separate set of inventory that you have uh scanned in, and you scan them in in the glasses data folder, and generally what happens is, if I bring up the glasses data folder right here, now you're going to see here it says total inventory. That file, if that's, if that's what you scanned in for update, I generally would copy that file to another folder that's called update glasses update glasses whatever uh, so that I can bring them in to glasses reader okay so that's the this is the uh, update inventory there now here is the update glasses themselves that go on the glasses that are update inventory and this is the sequence of numbers that they go through from one to whatever and again and you're printing them in increments of 20 or whatever you have in this number here and you click start label whenever you're done to click cancel label so you don't have to print 32,401 you can cancel at any time you're printing in increments of 20 okay and again in this case you're printing this middle one here. So that right there that my finger's pointing to. Those are UPD, update inventory. Now, now the vacancy list file that's created by that is created by the glasses reader program is what drives this middle option here. So if, you, if I cancel this for a second and go in, I say load update inventory into vacant location. That's what creates that vacancy list file that drives this program.
And so now you're back to this. To purchase supplies, you need to go to Amazon.com and search for Dymo 30333 labels and you will see the following. The genuine Dymo labels are available but are much more expensive and the compatible labels work just as well. You can also search for the Dymo Label Router 450 Turbo that's shown above and then this would allow you to print at home these labels or the one that is part of our kit will work fine also.